Mikala presents Sunday night. Starring Jules Holland, David Sanborn, and the Sunday night band. Tonight's guest, Joe Cocker, David Fatted Newman, Lady Smith Black Mambazo, and me, Judy Mawat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, yes, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our vortex of music and love. Are you ready to frenzy with us? Good. I'd like to thank many of the viewers at home for the many kind letters, uh, but the show is staying exactly the way that it is. Evidently, many of you become filled with feelings of inferiority because you cannot attain the same level of hipness as our band. I'd now like to give you my personal assurance that underneath their thin veil of grooviness, our group is human, just like many of you. They have phone bills, they go to the toilet, they have very bad dandruff, sometimes they even just stop at home and watch television in a frenzy of non-celebrity activity. So, to get you in a receptive mood in which you may identify with our group, here is a picture of one of the world's greatest drummers, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Omar Hakim. Looking a complete pillock. A pillock? Yes. A pillock? Yes, a pillock. What's a, a pillock? What's a pillock? Uh, Omar Hakim, ladies and gentlemen, yes. So, no, it's, it's in, it's in, 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 in England it's a term of endearment, like my dearest, most intelligent, handsome friend, I think. Something along those lines. Right, right. Yeah. But after all, when you were, when, when we were nine years old, who of us didn't look a pillock, eh? Hmm, exactly. So, uh, I hope you're now much more sympathetic to our, to our group. David, any photographs? Uh, no, fortunately not, Jules. Good, uh, just, just as well. well. Why don't you uh, tell us who we have on the show tonight? I think you're probably right, I, I should. We have, from Jamaica, a woman who was a member of Bob Marley's backup singers, the I-3s. She was the first female sing singer nominated for a Grammy in the reggae music. Judy Mowat, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And a, and a former member of the, of the great Ray Charles Octet, somebody who's uh, been a major influence on my music, David Fathead Newman. Yes. I, um, I, don't think, I don't think you should say, you know, Fathead, should you? No, that's his nickname. Really? Yeah. Fascinating, isn't it? I like yeah. that as a nickname. <laughs> Lockjaw, there was another one. Yeah, Eddie Lockjaw Davis. Jaws. Yeah. Big Pillock. person. <laughs> Jaws, yes, it's Jules in, very ma in very many ways. Thank you, yes. And from Ladysmith Township in South Africa, a singing group who were asked to retire from local singing competitions because they always won, who then went on to record with Paul Simon on his Graceland's al uh, album, Ladysmith Black Mambazo. And, and someone originally from your part of the world, Jules, yes. a, a great singer. Handsome, sing handsome, she. Handsome. A great singer and, and superb performer, Joe Cocker. Yes. Who I believe we're going to join now for, the, for this first number. I think we should. Which is uh, a Ray Charles, yes. originally made famous by Ray Charles. Lots of Ray Charles stuff in this. That's right. It's kind of a Ray Charles yes. theme tonight. It's Unchain My Heart. John, welcome. Yeah. Welcome it's to the really show. Really good John. to have you on. Thank you. Great to be here. With you. Unchain my heart. Let me be Cause you don't care Where you please Set me free Unchain my heart Let me go 
Judy Mowat is one of the few women in the reggae world who composes, performs, and produces her own music. That's, that's quite an achievement. Uh, that's very impressive. It definitely yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, it is. But um, it didn't really start like that. It started with a lot of struggles and hardships. And you know that as women in the business, like any other business, mm -hmm. you have to go through the growing pains. Yeah. But my achievements have outnumbered that. Thank God for that. Well, that's a very positive yes. attitude. Thank you. Rock me. Rock me. Yeah. All right, let's do it.
is uh, Lady Smith Black Mambazo and Joseph uh, Shabalala is the lead singer I think now it's, it's true to say that you have actually been stopped from entering these uh, singing contests why, why is that exactly it's because Lady Smith Black Mambazo won the competition every Saturday now they chase us yes <laughs> they, they just won't have you anymore they, oh yes, yes they don't want now they don't want us to join the competition sing with them i don't know why yes <laughs> frightened that's all that just frightened oh thank you yes <laughs> you worked a lot with uh, paul simon i understand you have a special name for him what is that oh yes his name is which means open the way 
Oh, I see. Well, that's quite a good name for him, really. We had him on the show. Oh, I just, I just called him Paul. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> or Mr. Simon a lot of the time, actually. Oh, right. Well, what's the next number, the first number you're going to do for us? Oh, tonight the number is Rain, Beautiful Rain. Fantastic. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. following the following years. The following song we called Nomatemba. That is the name of the girl, but that name means hope. Now, tonight, we ask you, where is your hope? Wangi shiela nomatemba. Zimnambi, 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 Z
Fantastic Louis Jordan. And now, with the Doc Thomas song, Lonely Avenue, please welcome once again the fantastic Mr. Joe Cocker. 
Well, it's a particular honor for me to introduce our next guest. Uh, he's one of the people who really inspired me to play the saxophone, and his name is David Fathead Newman. I, I understand that, uh, that Ray Charles really didn't like that nickname and that uh, he took to calling you Brains. Yeah, he, right? said, he said he was... Uh... It's a crazy name, and so he yeah. said to you, uh, would call me Brains instead, just the opposite. Well, it, it's a actually, lot more appropriate. Well, <laughs> actually, my uh, high school instructor gave me that name because I did something very stupid in class, and I wish he was living today. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes. Now, now, you played with Ray Charles for about, well, about 12 years, starting in 1952, and... Well, yeah, right. actually, David, uh, 54 through 64, mm -hmm. then uh, 70 and 71. And, and prior to that, you were, well, I guess, kind of a bebop 
purist, and, and you did, I would say you did occasional R&B gigs just for the money, but when you jo joined Ray, I, I, I understand that your attitude toward uh, R&B and blues music changed a little bit. Well, yeah, my whole conception was changed around because uh, um, uh, I, you know, learning from Ray Charles, I learned to uh, appreciate, it's like a music appreciation, I learned like to appreciate so many different forms and idioms of music, and uh, I'm really grateful to him for that experience. Right, broadening. Oh, okay. yes. Now, w when you were with Ray, you, you recorded uh, some solo albums uh, for Atlantic, uh, and the first one I, that I remember was uh, Ray Charles Presents Fathead Newman. Right, uh, right. yeah, yes. And, and a, a tune off that album act, uh, called Hard Times actually became a hit, right? Yes, Hard uh, Times was, yeah. was a hit, and still Hard Times. Still Hard <laughs> Times, right. Did, did You came out with a tune that was later on, right? Uh, yes. Kind uh, of a sequel to Hard Times called Still Hard still Times. Still Hard Times, right. <laughs> <laughs> How, how do you feel about the that music now that you when you hear it? Some of the music that you did thirty years ago with with Ray. Well, David, actually, I found that it's uh, it was very inspiring then, and um, it's very inspiring now. To, uh, whenever I get a chance to listen to it, right. it's still very inspiring. I'm really grateful. I, I learned quite. A, I, I owe my life to that experience. So you look back, back on that that fondly, right? Oh yes, very much so. Well, the, the tune you're, you're going to do tonight, uh, which is Making Whoopi, which is actually a, a very old standard, is uh, I actually, the first time I heard that song was uh, Ray Charles uh, uh, singing it. Uh. Well, he was, a, uh, I don't think he was the first one to record it, but no. uh, he was the, one, the first uh, that, that I heard to yeah. record it. Right. Yes. Well, why don't we do it? Yeah, it's a Whoopi, good yeah, idea. Whoopi, Making Whoopi. Yeah.
In fact, I have a huge collection of audition tapes that I enjoy watching every now and then. Here's one of my favorites for you right now. It's the actual Mr. Ed audition tape from 1961. Let's get the audition started already. Come on, let's go. Line up. Let's find our Mr. Ed today. Hello, I'm Mr. Ed. Hello, I'm Mr. Ed. Hello. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. Of course. Is that horse or a horse? Okay, get the next horse in here. Of course. Come on, Ed. Just try on the saddle. For God's sake, you're reading Wilbur. Ed's the horse. Ed's the horse? Wait, who's the horse again? Thank you. I can fall over dead. I just want to know, am I shot with an arrow or a bullet? It makes a difference. Just fall! Ooh. No. Wait, I, I didn't do that right. Hey, you know what time it is. I turned out a bonanza audition for this. Come on. Let's go! Honest to God, bonanza. Anybody got a copy of Variety I can take a crap on? It says on your photo you are a plow horse and gone with the wind with one line. Refresh my memory on that. Oh, Lord, it's been fair, Joe. Your daddy just killed Mr. Michael. Thank you. Harry the horse, good old reliable Harry. Harry, Harry, Harry the horse. Sensational. Ah, you're not still soaking, soaking over that filly, are you, you two? I can't read this card. Is that soaking or soaking? Soaking, okay. Ah, you're not still soaking still over that filly, are you, Wilbur? Hey, Howie, Larry, you know my manager, Max. Max is the genius who said, go ahead, do Bonanza. How big can horse be? We just want to hear you read the line, Ah, Wilbur. And go. Come on, come on. Ah, Wilbur. Giddy up. Giddy, giddy up? You said giddy up? Hey, hey, pal. No, you don't giddy up over here, all right? I don't listen to giddy up. That's number one. When you get the dogs in here, do you say giddy up? I, wa I want the respect that you would give a dog. I don't think that's asking so much. Arg, Wilbur. Arg, Wilbur. No, it's too much. Ay, 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 Wilbur. Arf, arf, Wilbur. Arf, 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 arf. Don't call me a Steve. I'm nobody, Steve. Next, please. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, I didn't make it. Why don't you say giddy up? Go ahead, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Okay, that's it. How we tell the crew, wrap it up. Ah, I didn't want that roll anyway. Maybe I should have worn a saddle. Hey, I can always get rodeo work. Give rise to the little bastards in the park. I love being alive. I hope the show dies, though. <laughs> the number one alpine at Foscade. Yes. So, Joe, have you, have, has it been a success for you, do you think, so far? The show? Mm. I'm, I'm hoping my chops are holding now, because with the little rehearsal and everything, but, yeah, I'm enjoying I think, it. I think they've sounded oh, wonderful, they sounded haven't you? great. Yes. <laughs> what, what will you be doing now? Uh, I'll meet you after the show. Oh, after the show? Yeah. I understand there's some club in mm. town. We'll have a pint of beer. I hope so. Yes. Or maybe something a little steeper than that. Can people understand you here? Do you have a problem being understood? Nobody well, understands. Well, I've been you. I've been living here over ten years. Yeah, I still have a problem. Well, maybe. we can talk to one another. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It was all it was all probably sound as for to you. Let's thank Mr. Joe Cocker then for joining us. Yes. And Judy Mowat. Yes. Judy Mowat. Thank you. Lady Smith, Black Mabazo. Yes. And David Fathead Newman. Yes. Superb backing singers, Amicia, Casey, Lonnie, and Venice all joining us once again. And of course, the house band. Of course, the, the house band. band. Right. Um, yeah. Nigel Thingy, my normal piano isn't here, so I'll join you on, um, on the his, his, his cousin, Alan. Yeah. 
The number one Alpine and Fosgate dealer in America is having a five-day sale. Prices have been slashed in every department. Alpine alarm starting at 35.